Okay, okay, okay. So welcome to the call, everyone. I'm super excited about this call because we have someone very, very, very special on this call. Um, my name is Katrina Wurgis. You guys already know me. I currently hold the position of a Chairman 10 in the company on my way to Chairman 750. But today, this call is not about me. We actually have the opportunity, the advantage really, to learn from somebody who's really an industry icon, someone who's really a legend in this industry. He's actually the number one Latin American income earner in the entire world. And we are so privileged right now. We are so humbled to actually have him on this call with us today. Guys, I'm telling you, if you don't have a notepad and a pen with you right now, go and grab it because you want to make sure that you're taking notes on all the information that you are about to receive. Anybody that's saying sound is a problem, guys, please um, make sure you're connected to the device audio. But guys, honestly, like get ready because the information that you are about to hear this evening is really going to change the game for you. You know, I had the fortune of meeting, um, you know, this individual when I first got started with this company. And, you know, he really was somebody that gave me vision and belief in this opportunity, you know, seeing the results that he had, what he was able to do, and, you know, pr him providing his personal guidance, you know, and support. He was somebody that, regardless of what position you were in the company, was very, very supportive and very, very encouraging. So, guys, I, I hope you guys understand the weight of having him here on this call today. It's absolutely insane to be able to have him here because he is the number one Latin American income earner in the entire industry. He's a multiple eight figure income earner. So this is huge, guys. This is absolutely huge. This is insane value that's about to be dropped. You know, he's he's the vice president of I Am Academy. So I know every single person on this call really, really loves I Am Academy. Like, I mean, we're getting paid every Friday. But aside from that, you know, trading is very, very good. The products are amazing. You know, the leadership is, you know, top notch, a whole nother level. But now we have the opportunity to hear from the vice president tonight, multiple eight figure earner. He's really a mogul in this industry. So guys, please don't take this call for granted. Do not take anything that he has to say for granted. This is someone that, you know, he's very results oriented. He, if he, if he, whatever he wants to, whatever he wants done, he's going to make it happen. You know, he doesn't make any excuses. He's a numbers guy. He's results oriented and he does whatever it takes to get the result. And he has the huge results, you know, right? Right now, he's absolutely killing it, absolutely killing it, crushing it in this industry, him and his lovely wife. So I want to, I don't want to take any more time because he's really who we're here for. And I don't want to take too much of his time today because I'm truly honored and humbled and privileged that we even have the opportunity to learn from someone who's so iconic in our industry. So guys, I want you to tear down the chat box right now to show him how excited we are to hear from him. So guys, drop some fire emojis in the chat box right now to show him our excitement on how excited we are that he's on this call with us today because this is really an honor to have you know a legend an icon someone that we want to get into this kind of position that him and his lovely wife is in um and we're on our way but we need to learn from someone like him you know who's already done it and he's going to literally drop all of the gems all of the nuggets on us tonight so drop some fire emojis in the chat box to let him know that you're ready to receive this information okay fantastic i can see you guys are excited enough so Ivan, I'm going to um, make you the host so that you can actually um, impart all the vision, the nuggets, and everything that you have for us today. We're so excited to have you here. Um, thank you so much for taking the time. We love and appreciate everything that you have done um, for us, and we can't wait to hear what you have for us. So over to you. Awesome, awesome. Very excited to be here with you guys. Uh, Right now, uh, we're in Mexico, so um, uh, when Katrina told me about um, doing this call, I said, of course, yes. I'm very excited to be training all of her organization and have the opportunity, the privilege, at the same time, the responsibility of doing so. Um, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very happy about what Katrina has become. Uh, when I first met her in this industry, uh, she, she was, she, I still remember, she, we were at Intercontinental Hotel, we were at the lobby. And we were taking photos and pictures, and I think she was either a P150 or, a, or about to become a P600 around there. 
and then and then she just was going through a phase when her sponsor just left the business. So it was interesting, you know. You're you're excited. You're joining the company. You're like, wow, this is amazing. And then blink of an eye, your sponsor left the company. So I I, I really admire her her tenacity, her determination, and and her focus because for her it didn't matter. Uh, she knew her dream. She knew what she wanted. And uh, that has definitely has shown in her business by now becoming a brand new Sherman 10. And we're very excited about that. Congratulations, Katrina, and to all of your organization. And I know this is just a starting point of bigger, bigger, bigger levels, because who's going to be the next Sherman in Katrina's organization? Um, I'm, I always tell people, if, if you're not grateful, you don't deserve. Okay, that's why I'm translating why I say in Spanish. In Spanish, it sounds very catchy. <laughs> in English, it's, yeah. it's it, but it's true though. If you're not grateful, you, you don't deserve. You know, gra gra being grateful about Katrina making that decision of staying um, in, in, in the company, being grateful because if she wouldn't stay, if she wouldn't work, if she wouldn't focus, we would not be doing this call. That's a fact. So, if you guys may, I like putting sevens as uh, thank you for the fire emojis. But if you look, you guys put putting some sevens of gratefulness, being seven of seven to grateful to Katrina of her putting also this call also, uh, because I I was uh, I was celebrating her on, on the WhatsApp and, and I was like congratulations leaving her in the audience. She's like wait wh why don't we do a, a training? I was like of course, I'm always open, I'm always open of of, of helping and, and teaching what has helped me bring bring us to the level that where we are here today. So. Hope you guys have some notepads here today and, and be ready to take some notes. Um, I'm gonna teach today um, how I basically learned how anything I believe in my mind and I touch, I can turn into gold. That's my way of thinking this. And being honest, I never believed back in the day that anything that I believed and I could touch, I could turn into gold. You know, and, and, and I think, uh, I don't know how to say the name in English, the Midas touch. I think it's Midas, right? The, the, the King Midas. And uh, so anyways, there's, there, there's the book Thinking Grow Rich talks in chapter two about the six steps of turning anything that you desire into gold. Imagine that. Now, before I go any, any more, I know it's late in the UK. It's probably like 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock. I'm, I'm not too sure. But I'll have a, a, my video camera on. And if I have my video camera on, I see like three people with video cameras. I want to see your video camera on. I hope you guys are plugged in, okay? Because if I'm going to give my 110% of energy to you guys, I want to also be receiving 110% of energy from you guys. I want to see your smiles. I want to see your faces. I want to see your reactions. I want to see it because I'm an energy guy, okay? I vibrate through energies. So I want to feel your energy. And if I'm only seeing slippers, if I'm just seeing faces, if I'm only seeing names, that doesn't excite me. That doesn't, that doesn't make me feel that I'm talking to the future chairman, okay? I'm being excited. I'm being honest. Now, if you guys uh, are not dressed up maybe for the camera, just put, put a shirt, put a sweater on, okay? And, 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 put an, and, and open up the camera. Put a, put a hat on. It doesn't matter. Yes, hopefully you're not naked, okay? If you're naked, please put something on and then get on the camera, okay? We don't want anybody to see something that is, is, is going to unplug them from the business, okay? I remember when I, I was doing a, a, a training like, like a year or two years ago, and, and an older person, you know, and not, nothing about that, but a person was coming out of a shower. <laughs> it was funny because I was saying that, but she didn't know. Her mom was on the back, right, coming out of the, of the bed, right? And, and her mom was like putting cream or body lotion all over her body. And we're like, Put something, you know, put, put something on, you know, and then and, and it, was, it was kind of funny. But anyway, and I say that so we're prepared, okay? <laughs> I see somebody putting their hats on. That's fine. I'm just, I'm just having fun. I'm just having jokes here. All right, guys. So I want to feel the energy, okay? 
I'm going to give you the six steps. And the, and the reason I want to give you the six is actually, they're actually in my book, which they're translating right now into English. Okay. I'm translating to English for everybody who wants to know my story a little bit more. Okay. This is the book. It is called before I was an employee today. I'm a millionaire. Okay. I'm going to probably going to change the title a little bit for the English because again, in Spanish sounds so, so catchy, but anyways, it talks about my story. Some of you guys know I'm a civil engineering profession. I'm from Tijuana, Mexico, originally. And I come from middle and from the from so so an immigrant, right, to the U.S. And in Mexican, uh, for, for Mexican people, for Latin American people, you guys need to understand, if you're working in the U.S., that's a major upgrade. That means you don't need to basically get an, an entrepreneurship. You already made it, kind of, per se. That's the context. I'm, I'm trying to guys to understand the context about it. So when I lost my job back in 2008, and then 2009, I started network marketing. I went from $50,000 a year as a civil engineer, where I was making bank in my mind, to $2,000 in the whole year when I lost my home, lost my, my, one of my two cars, had to go back living with my parents, with my wife, with my brand new daughter, right, Moniquita, and, uh, and, and two, pug, pup, uh, two pug dogs that just had five pug puppies, okay? I want you guys to understand the context about this. So I went back living to my single bed room when I was a kid. Now, when I went back there and somebody was telling me about network marketing, I joined MLM. I understood that this was the opportunity, that MLM was the opportunity. I knew about MLM since I was 13 years of age. I was never interested in MLM when I was 13 years of age. Why? Because I helped my mom when she was a Herbalife distributor, nothing against Herbalife. But me personally, I never saw myself as a person who want to distribute from 7 a.m. to 10 at night protein shakes. I never saw myself like that. I was like, nah, I'm a civil engineer. I'm fine with that. That's going to be my mindset when I grow. And then before, I actually, I was, I was, my focus was to be a professional baseball player before I got hurt. Okay? So anyways, I, I want, I, I'm teaching you guys this because, again, I want you guys to understand the context. Before, because I came from middle class, I never thought about being multimillionaire. I never thought about being the richest Latin American guy in network marketing or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I never thought about that. Me personally, I only thought about just getting an extra income, okay? So when I started MLM, it took me around two years and a half to be making $1,000 a month. Now check this out. This is what I'm going to teach you guys. It took me two years and a half to take $1,000, around two, a little bit more. But then two months later, I was making $3,000. Two months later, I was making $6,000. Three months later, I was making $20,000. Three months later, I was making $50,000 a month. And nine months later, I was making $100,000 a month. And today, we're, we're doing okay, right? So I'm saying this because I want to teach you guys again. What happened? What happened, Yvonne? What happened in those two years and a half that you didn't grow? And then you started growing. And what happened in that explosion? What happened? You know, I want to teach you guys what happened to me. Those two years and a half that I wasn't growing, did I work? Oh, yes. Did I present it? Yes. Did I prospect it every day? Did I actually close up every day? Did I, went, did I go to events? That was an issue for me. I, I went to some and I didn't go to some, okay? That, that was, I was a little rebel there. But I used to do all the action, okay? That's what I want you to understand. So I did work. Maybe 30 hours a week minimum because I got a job later on, again, as a civil engineer, up to 60 hours a week as a network marketer, okay? So I did work, but something happened in that event. I'm going to teach you exactly what happened. I was in that event, around 1,500 people, and I was a little pissed off at myself because I was there, we got in late, and I remember sitting in the back. Again, I was pissed off. And then somebody, they, they, they call somebody's name as a brand new person making 20000 a month who had six months in the company and doing MLM. And then they call on stage another person who had three months in the company and he was making $10,000 a month. I was pissed off because I was like, what the hell they're doing that I'm not doing? There's something wrong here. There's definitely something wrong here. And some of you guys maybe feel the same way I do. That you or that I used to feel. 
Because some of you guys maybe see somebody as a new P150, new P600, or new P1000, and new P2000, et cetera, et cetera. And in your mind, you're like, what are they doing that I am not doing? What the, what's going on here? So I felt mad at myself. I was pissed off at myself. And I was like, okay, I'm going to listen to that. Because I've been in MLM already, two years and a half, and I'm not growing. I haven't even made $1,000 yet. I want to understand because it's getting to a point where I'm, I'm, I'm listening, but I'm not understanding. And then somebody goes on stage and says, guys, you're focusing too much on the technical stuff. The key is the spiritual stuff, the intangibles, what you can see. And in my mind, I'm like, what the hell are you talking about, man? What are the tangibles? What are you thinking about? Just, just tell me how to do it. And when they call these two gentlemen, they come in and they say, you need, to, you, you need to understand the intangibles. You need to understand the, what, what you cannot see. You need to understand the believing part. You need to understand the spiritual side, not, not the external materialistic or the action plan, but the internal action plan. And I was like, internal action plan. I was like, what the hell are you guys talking about? Still, in, I'm, I'm, I'm debating in my mind. It's a fighting inside myself. And then that's when I made my decision. My decision was, okay, I'm not going to do 50, 80, 99.999% of what they tell me. I'm going to do 100% of what they're telling me. I'm done with this. I've been doing this two years and a half. I'm one step in, maybe three quarters the other step in, but I need to be full in, 100% in. So what happened now, they told me, number one, so the six steps, how to turn anything that you desire into gold. Number one, you got to write and you got to know exactly the amount of money that you want. Number one, determine and know exactly the amount of money you want to earn. That's number one. So a lot of people focus on money. Oh, that's materialistic. No, no, no. It's not because of the money. It's about what you're going to do with the money. If you don't know what you want, that's why you are where you are. Very simple. Somebody else is going to pay you for what you are today. That's why you have a boss, because you don't know what you, what, what you are actually is your value. You're going to work for somebody who thinks that's your value. So what is your amount of money that you want? So when I heard that back then, I was like, I don't know. I was working as an engineer, an engineer again at the San Diego airport. So my goal was back then, and I wrote Jim Rohn, famous phrase, I, famous phrase. I love Jim Rohn. He's for me the, like the Aristotle of network marketing. And he says, work full time on your job, part time on your fortune, until your fortune becomes three times more than your full time job. So I wrote, if I'm making $72,000 a year, and that was my, my last job as an engineer, that means 6,000 a month, that means 18,000, so I'll average at 20,000. So I wrote, I'm going to be making 20,000 a month. Why? You need to write five reasons why right there. Five reasons, five emotional reasons why. Five reasons, five dreams, five, five, five inspirational reasons, five pain reasons that is gonna help you. Pain helps you move. People get moved by inspiration, or people get moved through pain. So pain I wrote there, it hurts me waking up in the morning and, and, and being in a job. So it hurts me. I'm in pain because of that. I'm going to wrote fire my boss when I make 20000 a month. Then I wrote another pain, debt. I'm in pain because I'm in a lot of debt. I'm in pain because I cannot pay the house or the, or the apartment or the car or whatever that I want to have. Because I'm in pain that every time they call me when I lost my job for that year and a half or almost two years, I was in pain that I didn't have any income. So I remember that pain. So if you see, I'm getting moved by pain. The other one I wrote, um, getting the vacations for my wife that she always wanted to Venice to Italy in Cancun, Mexico. I, I, I never had vacations with her before uh, that back, back then. And then we said, okay. Uh, a Mercedes ML350 for my wife, exactly what she wanted. 
and then I wrote house for my parents and house for my for my for my father's in law. So I wrote that down, and it moved me by pain and inspiration. I wrote them, and every day I used to look at that list. Every day I used to think about that list back in the day because it moved me. At the beginning, when you're doing network marketing, you're thinking about helping a lot of people, you know, reach their best potential, reach their best goal, and that is true. That's a fact. But at the same time, you know, you cannot help that many people if you're not the best example. So you first need to become the best example. So right there, it was a way of me putting the, the goals, the dreams that were going to drive me, that were going to create an impulse for me to go for them. So number two, you got to write exactly the sacrifices. What are you, going, or what are you willing to give up? So you got to write, okay, what am I willing to give up to achieve the number one? So for example, I, me personally, back then, I wrote uh, sports. That was the number one for me. Sports. I love sports. I love baseball. I love NBA. I love football and NFL. Okay, I know in the UK, we call it football. In Mexico also. So I love, all of, I love sports. Uh, you know, I watch tennis, you know, US Open, Wimbledon. I just love sports. No sports for Ivan Tapia until these goals are met. Very simple. That, that was hard for me because whenever you say Super Bowl, I was doing an MLM training. I was doing an MLM presentation. I was practice, prospecting, presenting. I was so, I, 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 was, I, was, I was a little bit, uh, I was, I, was, I was basically a little bit let down because I remember I missed my Green Bay Packers, my favorite team uh, last NBA. I remember I missed when the Spurs beat the Miami Heat. I remember missing all those ones. And, I, and I was like, damn, I miss all those ones. But guess what? Now I go to the NBA Finals. Now I go to the Super Bowl. Now I go to the U.S. Open. Now I go to the World Cups. So it was, it was a good thing that for four years I paid the price. Parties. At the beginning, when I was before MLM, I was the, probably one of the first ones to get there, probably one of the last ones to leave. After MLM, I'm probably one of the last ones to get there and probably one of the first ones to, to leave, you know? So it, it, it changed everything for me. Radio, music, TV shows, Netflix, uh, television, etc. I heard, turn everything of that off for two years and your life is going to change. I'm being honest. When I first heard it, I was like, that's crazy. I did it. I did it for like four years. The, Desp the Despacito song? You guys know what Despacito song is. I never heard that song until I was in a convention. I'm being honest. I, I, I didn't know about the, what what's the music, what's going on, all of that. I didn't know about what was, what was popular out there because I was so focused. And, and the reason I was so focused because I understood Dude, I come from a middle class in a third world country. I understood that. I know where my environment is in my mind. I know I need to stretch myself more. I know I, 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 there's, there's more things that I need to battle with than majority of people. I knew that for me. So because of that, my sacrifices needed to be larger. My sacrifices needed to be bigger than normal people, than average people. That's a fact, okay? I'm, I'm, you're, when you're always seen and the, as the underdog, that's what happened to me. I was always seen as the underdog. I was always seen as the guy, I don't think he's going to make it. I don't think he deserves it. I don't think he's good enough. I don't think he'll make it. I don't think he's a great speaker. I don't think he's a great presenter. I don't think he's a great uh, prospector. I don't think he's a great uh, teacher. I don't think he's a great leader. When they always have those noises around you, I don't think he's, I don't think he's good for MLM. When you always hear those noises around you, that's when you they either, either that helps you and you embrace that or that's going to hurt you. For me, it was all, the, all of that was grabbing it. And I said, okay, this is the reason. I'm going to grab that and that emotion. I'm going to take it positively. So sacrifices. What are you willing to sacrifice? The bigger the sacrifice you do, the bigger the result you're going to have. I know that God always sets us, sets us up with a lot of challenges 
and the amount of challenges or how difficult the challenges is that you defeat, that's how big your victory is going to be. That's how big your celebration is going to be. That's how big the results are going to be. So I knew my, my, my dreams were going to be as big as my challenges I was going to defeat. I understood that. And for me, that was so powerful for me to understand. Number three, goals. You need to work with goals. And when, when and we're talking about goals on the three steps of how to turn anything that you desire into gold, is John C. Maxwell talks about dates, limit dates with emergency. That's the way he says it. Limit dates with emergency. What that means, you need to have the goals with dates and emergency, okay? Some of you guys, I know you are afraid of commitment because that was me. I remember one of my first talks with, with one of my former sponsors and, and we were talking and when he was saying to me, hey man, when are you going to achieve that number one step that you said? I was like, oh, I think like in two years. And he said, okay, well, when are you going to, oh no, in one year, I said in one year, for example, let's say, okay, when are you going to Sherman? Oh, it's done. Uh, in 12 months, it's done. It, it is done. December 2020, it is done. All right, awesome. When are you going P1000? When are you going P600? That was the question they did to me. And then when you ask, hey, when are you going P600? Uh, 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 I think September. September is a good date. Okay. So this is what they told me. If you go by September, P600, why don't we take your chairman and stretch it for two more years? And my answer was like, ah, hell no. You cannot stretch my Sherman 10 goal for two years. That was my answer. And then we're like, why not? Because if you do that, that means I still need to be an engineer for two more years. And I don't want to be an engineer for two more years. It is, it is a necessity of me, a necessity to be free. It is a necessity for me to be financially free. No debt. It is a necessity. I don't want to feel that pain anymore. I want to have my family, my legacy family, my, my generational wealth start creating now. And that was a decision I made. And so I was, okay, if you want that, that means you need to go. This, this is the word. You need to go P600 this month. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. That means I need to go now and go at it now with a belief level that I will become a P600 this month? Yep. And in my mind, I was so challenged, but I, but I needed that. I needed to feel the pressure because real leaders work under pressure the best. I'm not saying that if you're not good under pressure, not good at this. I'm saying that the best leaders work better under pressure. So I, I, I embrace pressure. I love pressure. When they tell me, and some of you guys know what I'm, what I'm talking about. Some of you guys love pressure also. Remember school when they used to say, oh, this project is like in one month. And you guys are like, okay, it's in one month. And then three days to go, two days to go. Oh, shit. We got this project to go, and I need to deliver it in two days or in one day. What you guys do? You didn't sleep. You didn't sleep you made sure you finished the project all your attention i don't know if you guys ever heard in school to, uh, qu uh, this is going to be a, a, a question in the test of tomorrow what do you guys do oh you're going to tell us a question on the test and you focus on what the teacher was saying that's what i'm talking about you guys need to put a hundred percent a two hundred thousand percent attention into where you're going to be focused on working on. That's what happened. So for me, I wrote my goals. How I wrote my goals? Daily goals, monthly goals, 90 days, 60, six months, 12 months, 18 months. I still, till today, I write till today, every month, how much am I going to be making? 
How much, how much am I going to be expanding my other business? How much my volume is in IM? How many uh, personals I'm going to have per month? How many B1000 is I'm going to be developing personally per month, which is one per month? Till, still till this day, I write my goals every month because I understand this is a business. If I'm not in working in my business, I'm working for somebody else's business. But this is my business because this is my life. This is my legacy. This is my dreams. And that's what happened to me. This is my business. If this is my business, I am the leader of my business. I know exactly my numbers. On my other businesses, for example, I was talking to uh, CEOs and one CEO very well prepared and another CEO not very well prepared. I, I, we had that meeting all three of us together. And, and I knew that. So I asked one of my CEOs, what are the numbers of the company? Oh, this and this and this and this and that. And I was like, okay, now this CEO is going to understand how to run a business because of what he's listening to. The turn, so what are the numbers on the other business? Uh, well, let me go and check. I was like, yeah. Later on, privately, I told her, that's the difference. He is running his business. The business over here is running you. There's a difference. There's a huge difference. You guys need to run your business. If you want to become chairman, if you want to become a chairwoman, if you want to become a chairman 25, P5000, whatever you desire in life, you need to understand that you are the leader of your business. Step number four, action plan. You need an action plan. If I'm going to be a person that I'm going to go and go for Chairman 10, and I want that level five-star lifestyle, I want that VIP lifestyle, I need to put some five-level effort. I need to place some, five, some VIP action plan to me. That's what I need to do. And I need to be so disciplined. I need to be so determined that I'm not going to lay it out or give up on my dreams and goals. Action plan for me is very simple. Very simple. P1000 action plan. If you're not a P1000, you need to go for P1000 action plan. Okay? P1000 action plan. You heard myself or David and Monitia speak about, and I know Katrina also, saying kind of also, about 12 to 15 wide in 30 days. 12 to 15 wide in 30 days. And out of those, three to four P150s in those 30 days span. Very simple. And, I, and when you hear 12 to 15, you're probably going to have to prospect. It depends on some of you, uh, technical skills that you're going to develop and the spiritual skills that you're going to be developing also, of course. And it's going to some of you, uh, take 100 prospects. Some of you is going to take 500 prospects. But believe me, it doesn't matter. As long as you have a ratio, you know you can work on something. The problem is when somebody, oh, I talked to 10 people, Yvonne. I talked to 10, man. It didn't work. 10? Just imagine Starbucks opens in the UK for the first time. You get 10 people in, oh, it doesn't work. No, it's going to work. We already have 320 chairmen. We already have thousands of people making money in network market, and I am. We already have thousands of people making money on the trading. This is working. So if this is working, who needs to get to work? Yourself. 12 to 15 wide. And me personally, this is what I did, and I still do, five minimum prospects per day, 10 prospects, five to 10 prospects every day. That's going to become around 150 to 300 brand new prospects per month. And that's going to help you to create minimum, a minimum of one presentation daily up to three presentations daily. If you really desire to become a millionaire, you need to focus on three presentations daily. If you really want to become a millionaire, this is not for the P1000s. This is not for the P600s. If you're a millionaire, it's more than just a million dollars. Millionaire is a million dollar residual income per year. That's a millionaire. And when you're a millionaire, you can create generational wealth because now we're going to give you the tools to be a good investor, to be a businessman. Like saying Khan right now, he just became 
a millionaire. You know, he already had earned a million dollars in the network marketing industry, but he's now officially in the rank of Chairman 100, which that means he's going to be a million dollars per year, which that's crazy. Okay. So number four, action plan. Make sure you have your action plan with you. Make sure you have it there with you. And you're looking at it and taking massive action every day. I already said it. Five to 10 prospects per day, one to three presentations per day. And if you're talking about personal development, people ask me, how much personal development do you recommend, Ivan? Minimum <laughs> one hour per day. Okay, that's the minimum. I suggest you guys, all of you guys do minimum one hour per day of developing yourself. Because normally people stop studying when they get to the age of 25 years of age. That's a major issue. And they normally just wait until they die, until they're 75 or 80 years of age. They never study. They only study until they get out, out. They got out of school. That's a big issue right there. All right. So action plan. So personal development. Being grateful. Uh, being telling your dreams, your affirmations every day, which I'm going to go right now. In step number five. Step number five on how to turn anything that you desire into gold. Step number five will or is write the affirmation. Bob Proctor talks about this a lot. And you write it on a little a card where, of course, we all have. And it's, I'm so happy and grateful now that I am. And write exactly what you want. And, I, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a little bit story about this. It's in the same event. I was in that event. And I remember they said, write the phrase, write the affirmation. And I was like, ah, this sounds like some hocus pocus crap here. I was talking about like repeating my dreams and goals. What the hell are you talking about? Writing me like a little card. I can just say in my mind, what are you talking about? But when they introduced this gentleman, 10,000 and 20,000, and I said to myself, remember, Yvonne, you're going to do 100%. I was like, you know, I was not happy. But I was like, ah, thinking on my, no, okay, I'm going to do it. They're saying it works. Let's say, let's see. I'm going to prove them wrong, right? <laughs> Those kind of things. And I wrote it. I'm so happy and grateful now. I'm making 20000 a month. I'm so happy and grateful now. I have five or 10 people making $1,000 a month. I'm so happy and grateful now. And they said, right, I'm attracting leaders worldwide. I'm attracting leaders worldwide. And then step number six, it says, repeat it two times in the morning with your eyes closed. And then you feel it in your body. And two times in the afternoon before you go to sleep. But the mentor back then in that event, he said, repeat it. A hundred times. Oh, like a hundred times. Did you count them? Like, I'm so happy and grateful now. One. I'm so grateful and grateful now. Two. You know, I was, and then it's like, no, just repeat them and all, all during the day. I was like, this is some major deep hocus pocus things. But all right, I'm going to give it a try because I said I'm going to be teachable and coachable. So this is what happened. This is Ivan Tapia. Not the amount on top of you're seeing right here. This is the amount on top that is writing that has never made a thousand dollars in network marketing for almost two years and a half, three years, right? This is July uh, 13, 2011, okay? And I remember the next day I started, okay, I'm gonna repeat them. This is the way I was repeating them. Okay, this is step number six. I'm so happy and grateful now. I'm making a thousand, twenty thousand dollars a month, and I'm helping five thousand people make a thousand dollars a month. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm attracting leaders worldwide. I'm so happy and grateful now. That was me. I can't lie. I can't lie because that was me. And I remember I wasn't like, I'm so happy and grateful now. I'm so grateful. No, no, I can't lie. I cannot lie. I'm, 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 I'm telling you guys, I was reading it. But I didn't understand the power of the words. I didn't understand the power of the mind. I didn't understand the power of the heart. I didn't understand that. I, 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 I didn't understand that you become what you think about. I didn't understand that part. You become what you listen and what you see. I didn't understand that. So I was working on it every day. I'm so happy and grateful now. I, I'm so happy and grateful now. So happy and grateful now. But every day. I was probably repeating it minimum 100 times. Just walking. So happy and grateful now. Because I was not listening to radio. I was not watching television. You know? 
So every time I was just walking, remember back in the day, there was no WhatsApp, there was no Instagram, you know, YouTube was just getting started. So it's not like I'm going to be on the, there, there was nothing to see back then still, you know? So was, there was no Netflix app, right? Nothing like that. Tell me also, I don't know, I'm grateful now, I'm grateful now. And this is what happened. Three or four weeks, I'm not, I'm not, I don't remember, but, but I was talking about that like two months ago. I was like, damn, I, I remember that part when I was, I was walking. And then suddenly I get a message on, my, on, on, on Facebook. Remember back then there was still no Facebook Messenger. It was just Facebook. And I got a message from this guy from Italy. I'm in San Diego, California, okay? Right there. I get a message from, message from this guy in Italy, out of the blue. And he says, Ivan, I've been watching you on Facebook. I really liked your leadership. And I was like, leadership? What the hell are you talking about? I'm making like $600 a month. I, what leadership are you talking about? I saw your presentation. Amazing presentation. I was like, amazing presentation? And I had recorded a YouTube presentation from a last company. I used to be working in the graveyard shift as a civil engineer. And I was locked in in my office, I remember, doing, I, I was like tired. I was like, damn, it was like 2 or 3 a.m. People are, are working on, on the structures, right, for the San Diego airport. And I was in my office, like, I'm going to record a presentation from a company. And I remember I recorded a presentation. It was a horrible presentation, bad presentation. I'm being honest. This is not even on top. My energy, all, all driven, and, and my dreams and goals. I, I'm just presenting. I'm scared of people listening to me. So I was like, this is uh, welcome to the presentation. That was a recording of me speaking that, that sound right there. You're not going to understand, but if you go to YouTube and look at that, my old, old presentation, like for 2011, you'll see that recording. So I mean, but you'll see my voice. It wasn't a voice of, oh, this guy is, oh, you hear that presentation? You're never going to imagine that guy's going to become a multimillionaire. I'm telling you it like it is. Yeah, the Bible says, as a man's finger, so he is, exactly. So what I'm saying is, what happened there for me is I was like, how did this guy contact me? And this is what happened. He signed up. He signed up. Now, to be honest, a week, uh, sorry, a, a month or two months later, he never, never even reordered. But this is why I understood. His purpose in my life was the following. Next day after he signed up, I'm still like thinking about it. How did this guy sign up from Italy? There's no connection between him and myself. And then next day, so happy and grateful now. I'm making twenty thousand helping five of them people make a thousand dollars. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm attracting leaders worldwide. O M G. I just understood what happened. Something that I was repeating to myself every day just became a reality. That became so powerful to me. Because after that, right there, I started saying, I'm so happy and grateful now I'm making 20,000 a month. I'm so happy and grateful now I'm helping five of them people make a thousand dollars a month. I'm so happy and grateful now I am attracted leaders worldwide. I'm so happy and grateful now. I'm a great presenter. I'm a great leader. Oh, uh, I fired my boss. I'm so happy. And I started saying it with so much energy because I believed that anything I could think and feel it in my mind and feel it in my heart, it was going to become a reality in my hand. That's what happened. So I started repeating it every day. And every time I was about to go into a presentation, I'm so happy and grateful now. And I got into a presentation with the best energy. Every time I went out of presentation and it wasn't the best presentation, energy went down. I repeat, I'm so happy and grateful now. Every time I had my former boss, what are you doing? Are you doing our marketing? Don't invite nobody from the company. I'm so happy and grateful now. 
every time I have family members or, or, or friends, if you come to this party, make sure you're not talking about your business or we're going to stop inviting you to these parties. I'm so glad, happy and grateful. Oh, if, if, you, if you're going to invite people, please don't invite this friend or et cetera, et cetera. We're going to block you from social media. If you keep posting those stuff, we're going to bully you if you start to keep doing that. So I'm so happy and grateful now. I always, always block those people. And that's why I'm helping them today. I'm so happy and grateful now. I'm impacting the life of 1 billion people mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, and emotionally. And I'm saying it. And I know I'm impacting the lives of 1 billion people. I'm so happy and grateful now. I got $10 million in donations per year. I'm so happy and grateful now. I have 10,000 units to run. I'm so happy and grateful now. We have 1,000 Sherman's and 1 million customers in I Am Mastery Academy. And I say way more, many stuff. And I'm so happy and grateful. And I'm saying this to you guys because these are the six steps that it can turn anything that you desire into gold. If you believe it, you can have That's as a fact. It's not from Antopia. This is from Napoleon Hill that studied Andrew Carnegie. Andrew Carnegie was the number one income earner in the whole world back in the 1920s and 1930s. And he worked all half of his life to get that wealth and the rest or the second half of his life to give back all of his wealth so that guy knew his principles of success and that's the guy i'm giving you the tip this is not even on top of tips this is andrew carnage's tips would you guys love to listen to tips from mark zuckerberg how to make money you guys would love to hear how to hear elon musk tips on how to make some money or you guys, Jeff Bezos tips on how to make some money. Well, this was Andrew Carnegie, who was like the Jeff Bezos or the Elon Musk or the, or the Bergs or et cetera, et cetera, from the 1920s and 1930s. And I'm giving you that, guys this because if this worked for me, it can work for you. Hope you guys learned today. But now, uh, I want to also give congratulations, major congratulations. Uh, we got a brand new chairman in the organization. Um, oh, something happened to my to my cell phone. There is not enough space on your iPhone for WhatsApp businesses to receive new messages. Ah, I cannot look at my WhatsApp anymore. <laughs> oh my God! Thank you. Uh, let me see if I can get in. No, I cannot get in. <laughs> so, all right. But I, we're, we're so happy and grateful. I mean, all the growth that we're having in the company, it is so amazing. Um, I mean, give me one second. Uh, uh, so amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing the numbers. I'm, I was talking to Zane a little bit more, and he was giving you all, all the results that was going on. And uh, he was telling me, and Katrina just uh, also resent me the flyer of a brand new Sherman 10. Uh, from Nigeria, Estefania Ajo, major congratulations, major congrats, delete some pictures, bro. Thank you, Montel. I didn't know it was that, bro. <laughs> Man, I need to delete some pictures and some videos. I I'm changing cell phones. I just bought a new cell phone, and what happened is because my phone's mic, I don't know what happened. I well, I know what happened. I it it fell down, fell down, and, and then mic stopped working, you know? So that's what happened. So I'm trying to change to my other phone. And some of you guys have, when you do that, it takes long. It takes so long. Now imagine me with all the messages and all the photos and all the videos. It takes a little bit longer. So I was doing that and it just said phone storage full. Damn. So anyways, um, major congratulations to you guys. Major congratulations to Stephanie Ayo, Chairman Tain, Nigeria. That's just an amazing accomplishment. And I just want, want one comment to everybody. If you're in Africa, major congratulations to you guys. I understand. I always tell this to Venezuelan people. We got, we're creating a lot of Venezuela Shermans. So I understand Venezuela and some other countries in Latin America and some countries in Africa. It is tougher. That's, that's a fact, you know? But, I, but I, I, I embrace all of them and I celebrate them probably a little bit bigger and larger because I understand the challenges. Sometimes challenges are even better or crises are even better sometimes because it gets you to really 
really value more a P600, really value more a P1000, really value more a P2000, and value all of those results even more. Some of the countries, like in, like, and I always tell this, and I, I always say this, um, some of them don't value P1000 that much. And, 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 and the way that I am is helping worldwide. So Nigeria, it's, it's, it's such an amazing thing that's going on. I was hearing about this, this story about this gentleman um, and him and his wife, they were, they were su surviving with $150 a month, $150 a month, guys, in, 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 uh, in Chile, in Santiago, in, in Latin America. I was like, how do you guys survive with $150, you know? Well, that was Ivan Tapia 2009, right? I made $2,000 my whole year, right? So, so I kind of do know how they survive. But I mean, but right now I'm still 2020. So 150, 2020 for me is like even harder. So think about it. And right now they're at P2000. This, this, this couple that I'm talking about, P2000. So what they used to make a year, they making it per month. That is crazy. That is I am what, what changes. So some of you guys, Maybe maybe you look at P600, P1000, and you're like, eh, I don't care about $600,000 a month. But what you guys don't understand today is that maybe that P600, P1000 story is going to inspire somebody from Africa. It's going to inspire somebody from Venezuela. It's going to inspire somebody from another country to come and say, you know what, man? If you can do it, I can do it also. And they're going to join you. They're going to work with you. You're going to help them. You're going to personal development also to them. They never listened to this stuff. They never listened to network marketing. They never listened to trading. Well, some of them did, but they didn't believe in themselves. And because you've developed so many, you're now a chairman. So when you're a chairman, you don't know today what is the amount of lives you're going to impact because you made the decision. And that's what really impacts me in the inside. When I see you guys, and I see a chairman 10 in Nigeria. And I was, I was there, I think, a year ago. And in, in Lagos, and, and and to see the love of of all of, of all the people from Nigeria, and, and see the energy from all the people from Nigeria, it's an amazing energy. How everybody is dancing and jumping, and and I, I love it. You know, it's it's it's, it's a lovely energy. And uh, and I still remember that. But I remember those P six hundred stories, P one thousand stories, P two thousand stories, and it's like, oh my God, it's so overwhelming when you're seeing that many people believing and having those results. So if you guys apply these principles that I just said, the six steps, I don't, it doesn't matter what country you're from. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter your advantages or disadvantages that you may have because personalities wise, we all have advantages and disadvantages. Um, environmentally, you know, your, 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 your environment, we all have advantages and disadvantages. Some have very positive some of us have really negative family. Some of us have really great friends. They want to help you and go to the next level. Some of us don't have that much great friends, right? So it doesn't matter in the sense that the six steps are going to help you. And if you're in this 200 plus, to almost 250 people on this call circle, it is because you're getting your level of vibration to a level where we're all working right now. My goal, David Munich's goal, we're all talking about a thousand chairmen. And we're talking about a thousand chairmen. That means out of this group, we need around 10 volunteers to go chairman in the next seven months. Okay? We need 10 volunteers to go chairman for the next seven months. I know Montel is one of them. I, I, I know Montel is one of them. I, I know that for a fact. Who, who else is a volunteer here to be a chairman? I see chairman. I see, oh my God, I'm going to start. Marcelina. One of them. I see BCB1000 is one of them. <laughs> Nasanin is one of them. Julia Cranston is one of them. Deborah is one of them. Jim Jimo Ojefo is one of them. Hopefully, I'm saying them right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Avina Glory, uh, congratulations. Exactly. It all starts with you guys believing. So it's been a pleasure with you guys talking to you guys uh, because I learn most when I'm teaching. Okay. Um, definitely. So congratulations, take massive action. Uh, I know we have something prepared, especially with Saint Khan. I was talking to him yesterday, and you guys will love it. Starting June 1st, you'll love the news. Saint Khan has something special for you guys. 
I'm going to wait until June 1st for you guys to know about it. Damn. <laughs> I could say it, but you guys have something special only for St. Khan's group wow. um, coming in. All right. So thank you very much, guys. Love you. And I'll see you guys next time. Congratulations, Katrina. Congratulations, Stefania. Let's go. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Um, we're going to have so much chairman's break from this group. And this information that you've just um, given us is definitely going to really take things to the next level. Uh, we've seen you implement this information. We see all the results. And we're so truly grateful that you took the time and you poured so much value into us. So guys, I want to do something special. Can we please just write the one greatest takeaway from the training that Yvonne just did? Just write your greatest takeaway. Like, what was that nugget, that gem that you took from the training that is absolutely going to change everything once you apply it? Drop it in the chat box. Okay, awesome. So whatever that gem was, whatever he said, you know, that you know when you apply that, it's going to really take things to the next level and really change something, put it in the chat box so he knows that you are really listening and that we're ready to run with this information and apply. I know that straight off this call, I'm going to listen watch this recording again i'm going to get this recording out to you guys so you guys can watch it again immediately because the stuff that he shared on this call honestly Ivan, we're so grateful to you thank you again for taking the time we love you we appreciate you and thank you for setting the pace in this company and continuing to go the way and show the way so that we can believe and we can understand that that success is gonna happen for us as well so thank you so much guys drop his favorite number in the chat box drop the number of completion drop seven seven sevens in the chat box <laughs> so thank you so much Ivan for being on this call we love you and appreciate you thanks for your time oh my god guys that was insane um I hope everybody got crazy value from that call I know I got crazy value from that call I'm ready to just go back over this information um apply it and literally take things to a whole nother level Right now, I'm a Chairman 10 in the company. I'm really on my way on a Chairman 25 run. I know the entire organization is running for the Chairman position and their next position as well. Guys, take this information, apply it. Just understand, we just had the opportunity to learn from an industry icon. If you guys know who Grant Cardone is, he is somebody that, that Ivan Tapia does business directly with Grant Cardone. You know, Grant Cardone has come to speak at our events because of his close personal relationship with Ivan Tapia. So Ivan Tapia, you know, he is the vice president of I Am Academy. He's a huge deal. You know, he's an individual that's earning multiple eight figures and he's taking the time out to be on this call to drop value. So please apply the information that he's shared and I promise you, you will duplicate the success that he's been able to create. So guys, God, uh, thank you so much for being on this call. I love and appreciate you. I'm signing out. Um, I'm going to get this recording out to you guys um, straight away so that you guys can rewatch this information um, and run with it. And congratulations again, Stefania Ayo. Literally, guys, she is the first chairwoman in the entire Africa. So in Africa, she is the first chairwoman in Africa. You know, what she's done there, she's opened up the floodgates for everybody to really believe that it's possible for them to be a chairman in Africa. So congratulations, Steph. We're so proud of you. We love you. And we really admire and look up to your leadership. So continue to win, girl. And we know exactly what's happening. We know that we have a lot more chairmen loading up. And we know that everybody is, um, you know, every, every single person on this call, you know, has the ability to go chairman. So guys, really listen to the chairmen. You know, Ivan Tapia, he's a chairman elite. You know, he's a chairman of 500 in the company. So understand that that information he gave you, please just apply it and trust me, the success will unfold. So have a great day, guys. Thanks for being on the call. Love you all. And I'll catch you guys real soon. I'll be back with even more value.